Hello, I'm David Pogue. In this series of online web videos, I'm going to be talking about this. Windows Vista, the missing manual. My labor of love, my masterpiece. 840 pounds, uh, pages of seething information and entertainment. Now, in most of these web videos, I'm going to be telling you tips and tricks, some of my favorite stuff in Windows Vista. But for this one, I just wanted to give you a little introduction on how this book came about. Now, there are 400 million Windows PCs in the world, and there hadn't been a new version of Windows for five years. So the publisher made it more than clear to me that he who wrote the best book would do really well. Now, uh, this is neither here nor there, but I do have three children with college educations ahead to pay for, so let's just leave it at that. So, how do you write the best book in the world on Windows Vista, in the absence of any existing information? Well, I would cruise the web every day, downloading tips and tricks that other people were finding. I pounded away in my own office on four Windows Vista PCs. I even instituted a chapter swap with another O'Reilly author who was writing a more high-end book, and we just wanted to make sure that our bases were covered, that neither one of us was missing any tips at all. What about uh, teaser chapters? Well, yeah, I also... Uh, I also downloaded the free preview teaser chapters that had been put up on the web by other publishers, but we're, we're going to cut that part out. I was also ultra paranoid about technical errors, so I hired not one, not two, but three technical reviewers for the book. I even hired a guy who had never used Windows before to sit there at a Windows Vista PC and go through every single step of every single page following every tutorial to make sure that there wasn't a single error or misstatement. Look at how hard could it be? Just read a book. No big deal, just read the book. Make sure that what David says in the book is actually what's happening in Windows, Vista. So we loaded up Vista on our computers and proceeded to go through the book line by line, word by word. Even I, the lowly Mac user, found mistakes in the Windows Vista missing manual that David had done. We were working with beta software, so Microsoft actually changed things, even little minor things like wording, capitalization, uh, the movement of where something was in the control panel. It was different sometimes from beta to beta, so while I will admit to finding a few mistakes, they were probably all Microsoft's. In the end, everything came together. The book looked great, it had been polished to a shine. Then came the final night when we were just looking it over, I was preparing the index, I always believe in writing my own indexes, only the book author can do a really decent job of indexing. When my production assistant, Lisa, discovered a small glitch. So let me tell you about my romantic evening with David Pogue. <laughs> so we were working on the Windows Vista missing manual and we had taken about 400 screenshots that we had already processed in Photoshop, we had turned them into gorgeous duo tones. I mean, they were perfect and ready to go. And then we realized that we had shot them all at the wrong DPI so that when we actually printed the book, they would have ended up about this big and you wouldn't have been able to see any of the settings and it would have been horrible. So we spent the entire night reshooting all of those screenshots and reprocessing them. But I did have a lovely dinner with David. We shared a healthy choice frozen meal. It was quite romantic. I've been a huge fan of his for years. And actually in the morning about 6 a.m. I was treated to seeing my first few flakes of Connecticut snow. Being from Texas, that was a big thing for me, so it made the, the whole evening worthwhile. So there you have it, a small look inside the creation of a missing manual. In the rest of the videos in this series, I'll be talking about tips and tricks, some of my favorite features of Windows Vista, to give you a little sampling of what I like in this 50 million lines of code. See you next time.